Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi I'm Akanksha. So in this video, we are going to recreate this makeup look from Priyanka Chopra. The reason I chose this look is because it's kind of very minimal, but also that pop of blue just makes it so much more vibrant. And blue is just like kind of out of the box. It's more than just keep it just neutral if you don't want the blue or you can just add the blue and get that pop of color which is more than just pink so yeah without me talking a lot i'm just going to get right into the tutorial i i i, I kind of did not do like sit down video in a while at least like i've not filmed it i've pre-filmed a lot so you kind of like feel like you know yeah you know i just posted but then i did not film one for so long and i have a lot to talk but i want to keep that for another video i want to do like a get ready with me because so much has happened and i really want to talk to you guys but for now i'm just going to zip it up because i don't want this to be like you know again a 30 40 minutes video so yeah let's get started Before we get started with the tutorial, this video is sponsored by Mintra and Mintra is having their Mintra Beauty Bash from 21st of July to 26th of July and they have 1100 brands you guys, Mintra carries 1100 brands and they have up to 80% off on a lot of products so definitely check them out. So all the products will, I'm going to use will be available on Mintra and all the products I'm going to use will be linked in the description box so if you really like something then definitely check out the description box, click on the link and purchase them. So I obviously don't have the outfit she's wearing or anything close to that uh, lavender, you know, dual chrome kind of thing. So this is the best. I feel like this is neutral. Might as well wear this one on the safer side because this like top can pull off any look. Acha. Um. So I'm going in. Like her base is uh, looks very minimal, but of course the photo is quite edited, you guys. So I'm going to just like, you know, take the accents of the color and like kind of represent, uh, um, you know, what I think is happening on her face. So, so first for foundation, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Skin and I'm in the shade NC40. Yes, I finally bought a pump for my Studio Fix. I've used so many Studio Fix, but I was like, I always used to hate the fact that I never had a pump but I was like you know finally like might as well get it I use this one every single day so I went and like got one I'm just going to pump this up so the base is pretty basic like they did not you know do extreme highlight or contour it's just like very minimal Also, if you do want to see like more beauty and fashion content, then do subscribe to Mintra's YouTube channel. They share so much fashion and beauty related uh, content. So next for concealer, I'm going into the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to go use two shades because one, I just want to first conceal, but second, her under eye is like way highlighted. So I want to go in with the lighter shade afterwards. So first, I'm going in with the shade Butterscotch. I'm just going to like, you know, conceal any like discoloration etc I have So like if you go step by step to highlight your concealer, it'll not like make your under eye grey but if you have like discoloration and then you go in with like an extremely light concealer to highlight your under eye then that's when kind you you know start to look a little bit Gray, it's all about you know adding those perfect layers. Next, for blush, I'm going in with the Daughter Earth Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Pin It. Nor, nor I can never pronounce this name, it's too fancy, it's going down. Falling down, not going down. RIP my English. It's not like it was always great, but these days my English is so much more worse. I don't know why. So anyway, it's just like warming the product up on the back of my hand. Always do this so that your like you know blush doesn't go like your any cream product do this so that it does not go on patchy and you can have like a lot of control of how much 
is going on your skin and how well you can blend it i'm just adding that pink on my cheekbone to, uh, to the end of my brow bone that's it like i see that's it three nice layers of cream product you literally don't even need anything else like i'm going to add it because i'm just like me but look at that like already you have such a beautiful base like highlighted blushed and like you know conceal like, everything like looks nice you can just like do a little bit brown mascara lipstick and you'll be good to go honestly that is how easy it is so next i'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the shade Medium. Next for bronzer, I'm going in with the Kiko Milano Flawless Fusion Bronzer and this is in the shade 5. It, it's that perfect bronzing shade for me. I'm just going to lightly dab it all over because her, her look is kind of like very colorful there's not a lot of warmth but i just want to like add a little structure to my face i feel very incomplete you know without it and makeup is just like it's that if i'm taking an inspiration from that look it does not literally have to be that look i have to adjust it the way it will suit my skin or my face because otherwise i mean what's the point like it needs to look good on you also and there's a certain you know where you'll have to do it there's certain different things you'll have to do because her face or my face obviously is not really similar then i'm again going to add a little bit of blush just a teeny tiny bit is the makeup revolution reloaded blusher and this is in the shade rose kiss Next, I'm going in with brow pencil and for brow, I'm using the Lakme Micro Brow Pencil. Just going to brush my brows. You know, I don't do a lot for my eyebrows. I just like, you know, brush them and only fill this chicken pox teeny spot I have. This brow pencil I've been actually really enjoying lately. Like, Lakme has done such a good job with this one. The tip is kind of nice and precise and you can get like kind of really nice uh, strokes with it it is extremely pigmented so you have to be a little careful um with it or you can go overboard but other than that pretty decent job and i like how it looks look at that my brows little like just that little addition makes it so much more uniform right like do you see that before and after like please wow I'm just going to carve out my brow now. So I'm just going to blend that off. I'm not applying a lot of concealer on the lid because you can see right here that her eye, it looks like they kind of use the natural shadow she has on her eye, which usually all our brown skin or we Indians have these like, you know, generally a darker skin tone on the eyelid and under eye right so so they kind of played with that only and i also want to do the uh, same thing so i'm just going to carve that brow and not add like a lot of concealer on the uh, lid just go in with a little bit more brown and add more brown on the color to give it a little more definition so for eyeshadow i'm going in with the makeup revolution uh, reloaded eyeshadow palette in the shade in the you know range velvet rose i'm just going to take like a mix of this and this like these two browns and add that uh, shadow on my lid so one thing i always notice i don't know if you have that priyanka always have this inner corner like bronzed up it's kind of sunken but they kind of you know make that as her nose contour so it does suit her pretty well but i can't do really that you know the brown going there and down the nose because uh -huh, this right here is just going to make uh, my eye look like really sunken but this is always there for her like this inner corner part and this part is always more dark like so i personally make this part like a little more you know highlighted but for her it's kind of like you know it's part of her nose contour and this is all a little more dark uh i can't personally do that on my eye because it's just going to if i put this eyeshadow here and put it there it's going to look very bad i don't know suddenly why i got this accent one of my friend was you know using this accent the other 
day and I was like it's, I we laughed so much it's kind of like sitting on me and everything anytime I'm saying something funny it's just like coming back to me so and it was Now I'm going to take a little more fluffier brush and you do the same thing but like a little more you know exaggeratedly Now so this is the time we add that pop of blue but the blue she has kind of like glittery a little metallic and sky blue it's this kind of blue but I don't have this in the eye liner form like a liquid liner form and i want to do like proper wings so i do need like a liquid eyeliner only this will not be like sufficient so i'm going to mix two things and hope for the best that i will like what is this hope for the best that i get the uh, you know look i want so i'm going in with the lacme insta liner this is in the shade blue and i'm going in and the essence long lasting eye pencil in the shade turquoise so first i'm going to go ahead and add this um, you know wing on with the lacme liquid liner this liner do it's one of the best it's so inexpensive but so good in terms of pigmentation i really wish lacme launches like more shades in like this range because i really love it so her wing is not like big it's really tiny So I'm going to do that only. I really want to know if I was that someone like who likes to add like a pop of color in their eye look, or are you like you know I'm I'm just going to place it. First of all, like not my hair for the next few months until the monsoon is gone. This is it's it it, it 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 I can't control it. It is going to be out of place. It's just. Hmm, that's how it is. Uh, but yeah, like, are you a pop of color kind of girl, or you're like only always you know neutral or something? If you are the neutral person, I mean, I know it's like a personal preference. But sometimes, kind of just go for it, like you know, go for that pop of color. Uh, go for like you know something a little different and see how it works for you. It's it's fun to like you know go out. Even I am like very minimal glam kind of person when I go out. Uh, but sometimes when I try these colors, or even if I do like a super glam, like wow. Who is she and I do end up liking it uh, really well. Anyways, uh, I'm now going in with the essence one. I'm going to draw on top of the blue. I think it worked. Like it does. Like I mean, both of them have a difference. I mean, this one. Kind of looks similar to this one. Now, if I go in with this directly, you could be like, "Oh, why? Why don't you like you know just go with this one directly?" I could, and it does look nice. But you know, this intense blue I will not get, and that it precise precision I will not uh, really get. So that's the reason I went in with like that blue liner so that I have a blue base, and it will make it more easier to pop this one on top of it. And this one just by itself, it's too blue again. It's not the blue Priyanka is wearing. It's like too light version of a blue. Nice. I like it. 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 Just have to clean up that um, little blue I got on the bottom lid. Next for mascara, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, the waterproof one. So she does not have any heavy lashes or something. They just let the blue liner uh, pop, and it's just the mascara. It's a nice amount of setting spray to lock that makeup in. So for highlighter, like look at her cheeks, so highlighted. So I'm going in with um, the Ofra highlighter because uh, what blings more than the Ofra highlight? And this is in the shade Rodeo Drive. Look at that. You can't even see. Like it's so blingy that the camera is like kind of lip lip reflecting back. <laughs> reflecting? Yes, I'm calm. Shall reflecting. Kind of looks like you know all the colors are competing with each other, like pink and brown and blue. But that's how her her outfit is. It might be looking really weird on me. I definitely get that because like the tones are very different. But look at the outfit she's wearing. She's wearing that chrome kind of um, thing, and it'll definitely suit her because she does have that pink and blue elements in her outfit. Like I told you, I, I unfortunately 
do not have that or anything similar to that. So for lips, it looks like she's not wearing like any lipstick at all, but I'm sure she does have it. And she has like a, a lip liner, which kind of like really, really close to her natural uh, lip color. So I'm going to do the same. So I'm going in with this Faces Canada lip liner in the shade Nude Brown, kind of very close to my natural lip line, lip color. Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick in the shade Nude Buff. So yeah guys, that's about it for this uh, look. I kind of wanted to match the, at least the front part of my hair with her, but I know it looks bad. I'm bad with hair. Forgive me, you, are you like if you see my videos by now, you must have understood. I, had, I have the same one, two, three hairstyles, which I always do because I can't really like play around with this. I really want to learn though, because I'm also kind of bored with myself sometimes. I'm like, I want to do something new, something nice, especially for like, you know, different looks. It looks so nice. But anyways, this is, uh, um, the look I'll put like a side by side comparison right here for you to see like her look and uh, my look I customized it a little according to how it you know looks good on me and I think it looks really nice it's so minimal like even my outfit is so neutral right so everything is neutral and just that that pop of blue is really nice like everything's so minimal but like right there you, it's, it's not still so dead like the nude lip and everything I think everything coordinates really well um, with one other and again mint beauty bash is going on from 21st of july to 26th of july so if you're interested then definitely check out their amazing offers which they have right now and if you want to shop any of the products which i've used in this video then check out the links in the description box and yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching i hope that you found this video useful i hope you like it if you did then if you did then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye